Hi, my name is Carly Collette, and today I will be talking about uh, the gas and oil industry and the home builders industry, comparing the uh, stocks and uh, letting y'all have a better understanding of some very important ratios for the stocks. And uh, this will really help when trying to decide how to invest your money in today's economy. So for the oil and gas industry, I will be comparing Tidewater, Secor, Gulf Mart, Hornbeck Offshore, and Halliburton. Which are these companies. Uh, just a little bit about Tidewater. That's going to be our first one. Tidewater created the workboat industry with its 1956 launch of the Ebb Tide and world's first offshore vessel, tailor made to support the offshore oil and gas industry. Today, Tidewater has the largest fleet of OSVs in the industry and they are the oldest and most experienced provider of the marine support services for its vital industry. Here we have some uh, ratio analysis. Uh, when looking at ratio analysis, you can look at a return on common equity. In 2008 and 2009, you'll see that it was substantially higher than in 2010 through 2012, you see that it dropped. So this lets you know a little bit about today's economy, how it really affects your stock and um, as it continues to fall in percentages. In 2012, it was about 4% for return on common equity for Tidewater. Here we have um, a couple of graphs from Bloomberg and you'll see we're going to talk about a few of the numbers here so we know what we're looking at. <clears throat> Weighted average cost of capital, <clears throat> you'll see here, WACC, um, for 2013 was, is sitting at 9%. The EVA has been decreasing, as you can see in the graph, uh, since 2009, and now it is at negative $602.9 million. The net operating profit, which is another number up here on the screen, right now is at $207.83 million. This is all for Tidewater. The total investment capital at this time is 3837.26 million. The return on invested capital at this time is negative 6.69%. The EVA spread at this time is also negative 15.71%. So this kind of lets you know where Tidewater is in today's economy. This is for 2013, so this is pretty current data. We'll move on to Secor Holdings Incorporated. That's our next company. Secor is a global provider of equipment and services, primarily supporting the offshore oil and gas and marine transportation industries. Secor offers customers a diversified suite of services, including offshore marine, inland river, and shipping. Secor is focused on providing highly responsive local service combined with the highly, highest safety standards, innovative technology, modern, efficient equipment, and dedicated professional employees. So that's a little bit about Secor. Here we have ratio analysis for um, return on common equity again. As you can see, uh, 2010, 2009, 2008, the numbers are pretty high. However, in 2011, 2012, you see they start to drop. So um, in 2012, it's sitting a little um, below 4%. So you can see that um, it is lower, but it has gone up since 2011. Here's some graphs for Secor. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about these numbers also. The WACC, or Weighted Average Cost of Capital, for Secor is 8.1%. The EBA has been increasing since... 2011 as you can see in the line graph and right now it's at negative 118.38 million net operating profit at this time is 35.83 million total investment capital is 2418.92 million return on invested capital is 3.20% um, they have very little short-term debt, as you can see in the pie chart. It's a little bit of red on there, so they don't have a lot of short-term debt. And the EVA spread is negative 4.89% at this time. 
Our next company is Gulf Mart Incorporated. Gulf Mart owns, operates, and manages a modern fleet of offshore support vessels that include platform supply, anchor handling, towing supply, fast supply crew boats, and specialty vessels. Their primary business is in marine transportation services in support of the upstream oil and gas industry. Since entering the market in 1990, they have steadily evolved into a global growth-oriented marine services provider known for their technologically advanced fleet and quality operations. So that's a little bit about Gulf Mart Incorporated. Looking at their ratio analysis, as you can see in 2008, it was pretty high. It was almost 25%. And since then, it has dropped down to 2% 2 for 2012. Looking at a few of their graphs, you can see um, on their line graph for EVA that it has dropped since um, 2009. Well, we're going to look at some other numbers. For weighted average cost of capital, it is at this time 8.1%. The EVA has been increasing since 2011 and is now at negative 118.38 million. Net operating profit at this time is 35. 0.83 million, which you can see on the screen, and total investment capital at this time is 2418.92 million. Return on invested capital is 3.20%. They also have very, very little short term debt. The EBA spread is negative 7.72%. Hornbeck Offshore Services is our next one. They are a leading provider of technologically advanced new generations OSVs serving the offshore oil and gas industry, primarily in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico and in select international markets. The focus of their OSV business is on complex exploration and production activities, which include deep water, deep well, and other logistically demanding projects. Here's some ratio analysis for them. Uh, when looking at return on common equity, you'll also see 2008 is fairly high. As it slowly kind of fades back down, but in 2012 it starts to pick back up as it's around 3% for return on common equity. So hopefully they will go up from there. And this is return on common equity. Here's some graphs for Hornbeck Offshore Services and uh, we'll look at some numbers for them. For um, weighted average cost of capital is 8.7%. EVA has been on the rise since last year and is now at negative 78.27 million. Net operating profit right now is 139.8 million. Total investment capital is 2785.71 million. Return on invested capital is positive 2.35% and the EBA spread is negative 6.40% and that is for Hornbeck Offshore Services Incorporated. So you can look at that line graph and see where the um, EBA is projecting for next year. Our last oil and gas uh, company for that industry is Halliburton. A little bit about them. Founded in 1919, Halliburton is one of the world's largest providers of products and services to the in energy industry. With more than 74,000 employees, representing 140 nationalities and approximately 80 countries, the company serves the upstream oil and gas industry throughout the life cycle of the reservoir. From locating hydrocarbons and managing geological data to drilling and formation evaluation, well construction and comp competition, and optimizing production through the life of the field. Here's some ratio analysis for Halliburton. Uh, again, 2008, very high, but it starts to drop. 2012, it almost picks up to 4%. That's return on equity. Here we have some graphs. We're going to talk about them for just a minute. Um, weighted average cost of capital is 
percent. Uh, EVA has been on the rise. Sorry. Weighted average cost of capital is 13.75 percent. EVA has been pretty consistent since 2009 and is now at negative 292.25 million. Return on invested capital at this time is 12.37 percent. And the EVA spread is negative 1.37 percent. And that was all of our oil and gas um, companies when looking at that industry. Now we're going to talk about the home builders in industry. Here uh, we have five companies that we've looked at. And we're going to start first by talking about Toll Brothers. A little bit about them. Since 1967, we, they've been building communities and settings where luxury meets convenience and where neighbors become lifelong friends. When you choose Toll Brothers, you choose our unwavering commitment to quality and customer service. We are a Fortune 1000 company and ranked number one in 2011 and 2010 in financial soundness, long-term investment and quality of products, services, and Fortune Magazine's annual World's Most Admired Company Survey in the Home Builders category. We are also honored to have won the three most coveted awards in the home building industry, America's Best Builder, National Builder of the Year, and the National Housing Quality Award. But our greatest reward comes from the recognition we receive from our home homeowners. That was a little caption from their president for Toll Brothers. Here we have some graphs. And for Toll Brothers, uh, we're going to look at some of their uh, ratios. We have cash ratio. Last year was 1.46. Um, and it has started to rise since 2010, if you look back the past three years. So their ratios are going up. For current ratio for last year was 6.23. And the quick ratio was 1.46. And as I said, the last three years they have been increasing. So this looks really good for um, people that are looking to buy stock from them. Our next one is D.R. Horton. A little bit about them. They have livable and affordable new homes built with unmatched efficiencies and uncompromising quality of family traditions passed on to new generations of a business that would grow by making customers' dreams a reality. That philosophy of creating value every step of the way was the company's signature focus when Horton unveiled his first neighborhood in the Dallas-Fort Worth area over three decades ago. As the company grew from a local home builder to a regional home builder to ultimately the largest home builder in the United States, that philosophy has never wavered. Today, D.R. Horton, Horton continues to demonstrate its leadership in residential development through design innovation, superior craftsmanship, and responsiveness to the needs of its customers. The simple vision that began over 30 years ago represents years of value and security when you choose America's builders to make your dreams come true. We're going to look at a few of their ratios now. This is for DR Horton. Their cash um, ratio uh, last year was 0.88. It has uh, continued on a downward fall the past three years for all of their um, their numbers are all going down the past three years. But they also have a current ratio last year of 3.65 and a quick ratio of 0.88. And the last three years, like I said, it has been on a downward fall, but hopefully they will recover. So that was about DR Horton. And their weighted average cost of capital is 10%. Net operating profit of $421.70 million. Their EVA has been declining since 2012 and is now at negative $246.27 million. Their total investment capital is $6426.30 million. The return on invested capital is 6.15%. They have an EVA spread of negative 3.83%. As you can see on the line graphs, that kind of explains how their slope has been going since 2003. 
Our next company is Lennar Corporation. A little bit about them. Lennar Corporation was founded in 1954, is headquartered in Miami, Florida, and is one of the nation's leading builders of quality homes for all generations. Lennar builds affordable move-up and retirement homes in communities that cater to almost any lifestyle, such as urban, golf course, active adult, or suburban communities. Talk a little bit about Lennar's ratios. The past three years, they've been pretty consistent as far as cash, current, and quick. Last year, uh, the cash ratio was 2.56. Their current ratio was 13.95, so pretty high. And their quick ratio was 3.56. Like I said, the past three years, they have been staying pretty consistent with their numbers, so it's good that they show consistency. And we're going to look at these graphs talk about their numbers a little bit. Weighted average cost of capital for Lennar was 9.4%. Their EVA, like I said, has been pretty constant since 2010, and the EVA spread is negative 2.79%. Net operating profit of 467.84 million. Total invested capital, 8859.91 million. Return on invested capital, of 6.57%. And that is Lennar. Our next company is going to be KB Home. A little bit about them. KB Home is one of the largest and most recognized home building companies in the United States. Since its founding in 1957, the company has built more than half a million quality homes. KB Home's signature built to order approach lets each buyer customize their new home from lot location to floor plan and design features. In addition to meeting strict Energy Star guidelines, all KB homes are highly energy efficient to help lower monthly utility costs for homeowners, which the company demonstrates with its proprietary KB Home Energy Performance Guide, or EPG, a leader in utilizing state-of-the-art sustainable Building practices, KB Home was Ray named the number one green home builder in the most recent study by Calvert Investments and the number one home builder on Fortune Magazine's 2011 World's Most Admired Companies list. Los Angeles-based KB Home was the first home builder listed in the New York Stock Exchange and trades under the ticker name H, uh, KBA. We'll look at a few of their ratios for KB Homes. And uh, they did not have a very uh, good year financially in 2011. They dropped a good bit. Um, but for 2012, their cash ratio was 1.14. Their current ratio was 5.09. And their quick ratio was 1.28. 2011 wasn't that great. They started to pick back up in 2012. So hopefully they will continue to rise. Um, we'll move on to Standard Pacific Homes. A little bit about them. They were founded in 1965 in Southern California by Ronald R. Boyle and Arthur Stevenson. Standard Pacific Homes was built on the simple foundation that creating thoughtful, thoughtfully designed homes with superior craftsmanship will enrich the lives of our homeowners. As Standard Pacific Homes has expanded over the years into a nationally recognized home builder, they have taken great care to remain true to their core principles to build a reputation as a high quality home builder that is recognized by their customers and respected by their industry peers. Here we have a few graphs. And as you can see, as um, the weighted average cost of capital line graph. You can see where their numbers have been sitting since 2003. Their weighted average cost of capital right now is at 15.8%. Their EVA is on the rise and is now at 192.10 million with an EVA spread of 7.76%. Net operating profit of 103.88 million. Total investment capital 
is at $2474.71 million. Return on invested capital is at 23.52%, so that's pretty high. As you can see by the line graph and the pie chart. And that's the end of our presentation. If I were deciding what um, where I would like to invest my money for the oil and gas industry, I would definitely go with Halliburton. They have higher ratios. They're on the rise. It looks like they're going to be doing very well for the next several years. So in the oil and gas industry, I would definitely choose Halliburton. Um, in the home builders industry, I believe I would go with Standard Pacific. They also have high ratios. They're on the rise. Everything's looking great for them. Their ratios um, are steadily increasing for the better. So if uh, I were buying stock, that's where I would invest my money. Thank you.